what does it take to be a good scientist? I think curiosity, that's the most important thing. Um, if you're a kid, you sort of like turning over rocks to see what's under them. You like uh, playing games to see how can you learn how to play. Uh, maybe you like competition. Uh, there's a competition in a game. There's a competition between you and the universe if you want to understand how things work. Um, so, uh, it, but number one is curiosity. You have to want to know how things go. Um, then it takes a little bit of imagination. So uh, as you begin to learn how things work, you have to be able to picture it in your mind some way. So you can see in your mind the creatures running around under, under the rock, or you can begin to build a picture of what an electron does or um, how relativity works, all these various things that you have to learn in school to make progress. Um, but they all come from curiosity, from wanting to know how. When Einstein was a very small child, he, someone gave him a compass needle, and he wanted to know what makes that point. You know, how come the needle is pointing over there? There must be forces coming through from somewhere. And it, it became completely fascinating to him. He just concentrated on wanting to know that. And eventually he made huge contributions because he was really interested. Uh, so uh, partly uh, being curious, curious is about asking questions that are going to lead somewhere. So a good scientist finds a way to ask questions that can be answered but may not be answered yet. So uh, there's some skill associated with that. Um, what does a person need to, to do? Um, well, basically, if you're going into science, there's an awful lot to learn about that's already been accomplished so that you can then go beyond that. Um, so it takes a lot of time to do that, uh, but it's a lot of fun, too. Um, I don't know whether science is well taught in every public school. Probably not. Um, but uh, the process of discovery, of exploration, of curiosity is, I think, what makes science fun for grown-ups, and it can make science fun for students as well. So I hope that becomes possible for all of the, all of the students that you're working with.